Hello everyone and welcome to this video about buying RAM on EOS. If you have been using EOS in the past, you may be familiar with a little error message that um, you get when you try to set a contract and you get the error message, your account has insufficient RAM, it needs 83,000 bytes, has 51,000 bytes. And this is of course when you try to deploy to either the testnet or the mainnet. And this is due to uh, a feature in the uh, in the uh, EOS blockchain where you have to purchase RAM in order to um, use for ha in order for your smart contract to use it. So you don't have unlimited amounts of RAM and you don't pay per transaction as you do in Ethereum. So instead, you uh, purchase RAM for market price. And this is a bit different from how EOS allocate CPU and the network resources since those are distributed according to how much EOS you have staked in the network. But with RAM it's different. You buy them at market price instead of this sharing module, um, model. And in this video I thought I would show you how you can in an easy way buy more RAM to, the, uh, to your testnet accounts or to your mainnet accounts. It is the same process. Uh, you'll need uh, Scatter, but I have showed you how to install Scatter in a uh, previous video, so you should be all good to go. But make sure you have that installed in Chrome or whatever browser you're using. And then we're going to go to eostoolkit.io. And here you want to change network so that you are connected to the uh, jungle testnet. Hit select. And then you'll get a Scatter window here where you'll select your identity. So you have imported the uh, keys that you need for the jungle net um, because you must have an account and key, uh, key pair already and you must have imported them into Scatter. Select the identity and hit accept. And then we get the information here about our account. So you can see I have 9,999 EOS tokens. I have 51,000 bytes owned of RAM. I have 100, 000, uh, 100 EOS take the, for my CPU bandwidth and 100 for the net bandwidth. In order to buy more RAM, you go under manage account. So you click on manage account and then you click on buy RAM. Here enter the receipt uh, of the RAM. So in my case, it's uh, Philip because that's the name of my account, as you can see here. And you can either purchase, uh, specify you want to purchase in EOS or how much EOS you want to spend or how many bytes you want to buy. And let's see how, how much did I need. So I let's say I need 50,000 additional bytes of memory in order to deploy this contract. So 50,000 and then it purchase. You will get another window from Scatter where you can sign this transaction. So hit accept. You can just check so everything is correct here, but hit accept. And then you see success. And all of a sudden, I no longer have these 50,000 bytes. I have 101,000 bytes uh, in my account. That means that I should now be able to deploy this contract to my account. Uh, so set contract. I have a contract for a little storage. Uh, and then I set it to my account, Philip, to the jungle net. Uh, and there we go. No longer did we have this problem with... Uh, insufficient RAM. Instead, we're able to publish this contract. And that was all I wanted to show you for this video. If you instead want to do this on the mainnet, it is uh, the exact same procedure, just that you'll have to change uh, the network to the mainnet and you'll have to uh, have those keys and identities in your scatter and have enough uh, EOS tokens so that you can buy more RAM. That is uh, all you need to do. So I hope that you've learned something from this video and good luck with all of your EOS development. Please leave a like if you uh, liked the video and leave a comment saying uh, what you want me to talk about in the next video. I appreciate all of your feedback. Take care guys and I'll see you in the next video.